on board, here aboard. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. What happened? Huh? What happened? Oh. I snapped. As we cut to... Yeah. A few hours earlier. Izuku's girlfriend broke up with him and he just said, Fuck it. And left. Everyone's like, they are about to laugh. They like say, yeah, I was a quirkless loser, just got done, but want to see his reaction, especially Bakugo for some reason. But then it's, like, it's not really funny if he doesn't care. He's not crying or anything. What the hell? But then, yeah, his, his girlfriend just walks up to Bakugo. Upon hearing some arguing, some loud voices, and Izuku's... <sighs> what the hell is going on now? I just want to take a piss. And he sees that, uh, yeah, Bongo's about to get violent. Though Izuku doesn't care about his so-called girlfriend, he's... I still want to be a hero some way, somehow. As he tackles Bongo to the ground and knocks him out. Everyone shocked at this. Is it? Is your friend just... Why did you... Hmm? Just because I don't have a quirk doesn't mean I don't still want to be a hero. And heroes don't discriminate to who they save. Bye. Everyone just like, wait, how did, did Bakugo just, uh, no fucking way. As soon as Zuku about to walk out again, here comes his ex, he's like, wait, we, we could just, thank you, like, whatever. You think we could try it and <laughs> <laughs> again? We try again? Really? Yeah. You didn't love me to begin with. Uh, as we have another flashback, in which Izuku, upon actually getting a girlfriend in middle school, he's all happy. He's Pretty much feeling himself, he feels all like everything's right with the world until he actually catches a conversation he wasn't supposed to hear. So, so what well, seriously, do you really like Midoriya? No, of course not. Then why are you going out with him? Uh, something Bakugo wanted. What? Yeah, I like Bakugo, not. Izuku. Seriously, why not? He's a, he's a nice guy, yeah, but he doesn't have a strong quirk like Bakugo. I mean, with Izuku, yeah, he's a nice guy, but with Bakugo, he has a chance of being a hero, and, you know. Oh, right. Still, you shouldn't treat him like that. <sighs> Seriously, we're just supposed to... We're just supposed to date for a little while up until the start of our final year as, uh, you know, middle school students. So, you're going to break up with him. You're... Yep. If anything, it should get him a, a pretty much a mental breakdown. That's what Buggo's been hoping. In which he said he would date me. In front of Izuku. Dude, that's, that, that's fucked up. What? Heck, I like Bakugo. And... 
seriously, that, that, that doesn't mean you mentally and emotionally assassinate a guy. Hmm. Well, you apparently don't know how much I care about Bakugo. Alright, but... Karma's going to get you. Oh, please. As, as long as there are tears, yeah, but go, we'll do whatever. And, yeah. Izuku, upon hearing that, he's screaming much like, does, does Gachan really hate me that much? What happened to him? He used to be thick as thieves, but now... <sighs> I... Wow. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Is that the way you want to play it? I'll make sure you don't get what you want. And that's pretty much how everything leads up to now. So you knew, yep, that you were just playing me just so you can get with Bakugo. So, thanks, but no thanks. I don't like fake women. Now that I get a good look at you, you weren't much to really brag about. Well, who, how do you... I just beat the shit out of Bakugo. Your little knight in shiny armor, your hero that almost went ballistic on your ass. <sighs> Listen. I don't care anymore. If you like me, that's nice. If you don't, who gives a fuck? How are you even able to... Well, upon learning about your little deception, I decided to reinvent myself. Go uh, start working out at home more, you know, building up some muscle and whatnot, trying to better myself for me and not for someone who doesn't even care. I'm pretty sure you noticed, you just didn't really want to compliment me too much. Probably want me to start fishing for some compliments. Want me to get your approval or something. I don't need your approval. So, goodbye, whatever your name is. Is you just walking off like a boss? <laughs> yes. Yes, I... I refuse to make him easy, easy cool simp. I, I can't do it in good conscience. I mean, I could, but still, unless it's for a story, I am never making easy cool simp. No, I, I can't do that. Not at all. And now we come right to where the story started. So, that's why you've been. Exercising at home more often? That's why you... Yeah. Huh. <sighs> That's... Hmm. I... I... I did not expect you to... Uh, well, Mom, I need to change a little bit. And... Uh, I, if anything, it felt right. What? To hurt someone who deserved it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I didn't... It wasn't the best thing. I mean, I wish I could have done something else, but when it comes to Kotsky... You're not calling him Kotsky anymore? No. But yeah, when it comes to him, he only understands violence. 
and I beat him into submission. Right, right. So, uh, what now? Well, Miss Midoriya, um, we can't uh, allow a student to use such violent methods, even if it does seem. <laughs> <laughs> Is this funny to you? Oh, it's hilarious. He's a good. Hold on, Ma. Do you know what the, one of the main rules of this school is principle? No quirk usage, no fighting, no bullying. Uh, yeah, yeah. But whenever Bakugo, his cronies would do it. Whenever anyone else in my class would start talking shit. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom, for the language. The teacher either joined in or turned his head. And do you know how much that pisses me off? Uh, uh, not only did you allow this to happen, wait, what? Listen, like, no, I, I've been here before, Mom. To talk about Kasky's actions, all he did was say, tough it out. You won't be together with him forever. <clears throat> well, Miss Midor, you don't, uh, you don't really believe your son of, uh, of course I believe him. <laughs> And yes, and just, oh yeah, just in case you ever tried to deny it, Izuku just takes out a recorder. You should just tough it out. You're not going to be with him forever. <laughs> oh yeah, I record that shit. Uh huh. Did you really think I would be so stupid as to not record something so. Damning. As Ingo, she takes a recorder and just looks at the principal. We are suing the school. What? He's like, yeah, we are suing this fucking school. Mom! Hey, I'm grown. I can cuss as much as I want. Alright, let's see how long your school lasts after this becomes public. The principal is trying to stop them, but Ico just shoots him a death glare. It's like, uh, Mom, that look. It, why is it? Why does it chill me to the core? It's something my dad taught me. Dad, you're. you're I mean, I have a grandpa. <sighs> Yeah, you do. You know what? We're going to enroll you in a different school. Really? Like, yeah, because this school's reputation is going to be ruined after we're done with it. It'd be weird if you still tried to go here. If anything, I think it's for the best. Hmm. But I don't know what your record is actually going to how your uh, action is going to reflect what they do. Well, next year is your last year in middle school, so who really gives a damn? Mom, I've never heard you use such profanity as words. I kind of dig it. Believe me, there's a lot you don't know. But... How much do you really want to be a hero? Very, very much. <sighs> okay. I guess we're going to, have to spend some time with your grandpa. What? 
Yeah. If anything, I was hoping you'd be the poster child sim role, but apparently our blood is too strong. My side of the family, as far as I know, or at least my dad's side, or we're assassins. What? Yeah. So, that makes you a descendant of our, you know, circle. Are you serious? Yep. So, wait, what's that got to do with me wanting to be a hero? Well, you can take on contracts from bad people, good people. But th that's... Killing isn't... How does it feel to be a pocket girl like that? It felt good. You see, when uh, when it comes to our family, we take all kinds of contracts. Some are morally wrong, others are right. So it just depends on what kind of person you are. We're like. The yin and yang, there's good and there's evil, depending on which one you rather be or which side you choose. Some people even go in between, depending on how much it is and, you know, their standing on certain issues. You're kidding. Yep. Oh, but seriously, if anything... Can't believe this. this. What? Well, your dad recently took a a job closer to home. The thing is, it's for a different type of thing. What? Let's just say your dad. He he actually. He does. He did used to work overseas. He's back home now. Apparently, this thing threatens to blow up the world. Wait, what? So wait, that moon? Yeah, it's really destroyed. And your dad is trying to find a way to keep the world from meeting the same fate. Wait, actually, this works out perfectly. This could be good training for you after we get back from your grandfather's. What? Well, y'all have a quirk. So, at the very least, you're gonna need to... Mm. Huh, actually, this works out perfectly. What do you mean? Well, you'll be a hero, yes, as well as an assassin, so I guess technically me and my dad were both right. Maybe that'll defuse the whole, yeah, I told you so, I told you so speech he plans on giving me. Uh, but who should I call first, your dad or... Hmm. Yeah, I think I should call my dad first. At least... Then we can get everything situated, so yeah, pack up your stuff. You're gonna need it. Mom, you're serious. Yes. You are gonna be training uh, under my father. But uh, what about you, A? You can still go there. Well, mm. Huh. Actually, you won't actually have to go there if you don't want to. What? Well, there is another school you could attend to better hone your skills if you want. So, 
I'm finishing my last year of middle school. Yeah, this prestigious class, whatever it's called. Yeah, E class. So, bond the barrel, if anything else. You're serious. Are you serious about being a hero?